Okay guys, hi! Welcome to my very first cooking video. At dahil malapit na mag-Halloween, I was thinking of a good Halloween video to actually share with you guys. And I was thinking, bakit kaya hindi kaya ako magluto, no? So today, for this Halloween special treat for you guys, I will actually be making special types of cookies. It's called Dracula's Dentures. Dracula or yung ngipi ni Dracula, no? That is what I will be cooking for you or making for you guys today. So first, we will start with making our cookie dough. So first part is preheat your oven to 350 degrees. So let's do that. Next is we will mix the ingredients together. So we'll start off by having one cup of softened butter. So one whole, my apron, tatanggal apron. So one cup of softened butter onto my bowl, mixing bowl. Next, we will have so one cup of white sugar here, one cup of light brown sugar, leather and dot here, and then so I have my electric mixer. Let's scrape that sugar and butter out. So I will be creaming the sugar and the butter mixture first. Actually, pag wala naman kayong electric mixer or beater, you can actually use the normal whisk, no? It will actually take you longer a bit, but pare-pareho naman lang yun. So you don't have to buy these gadgets just to be able to have your cooking happen. Ah, whoops! I'll increase the speed para mabilis siya mag-mix. There, as you can see, the mixture is actually forming a bit now to creamy texture. Kanina, we have it granulated. Now, it's a bit of creamy texture. So, pag na-reach nyo na yung creamy texture na yan of the butter, we will now put the eggs. It, the recipe calls for two eggs, so I have one. Actually, before I wanted to have the experience of cracking eggs with one hand, but I'm just a bit nervous. Uh, so I'm going to put the eggs first one at a time and then I'll mix it a bit para mag-incorporate yung egg dun sa mixture. I love baking as compared as compared to cooking. Baking kasi, although it's difficult, more difficult than cooking because you have to be precise and exact with your ingredients. Um, the enjoyment in baking kasi is the smell, no? Especially with cookies or cupcakes. I like making them at home. It really produces that homemade or home feel feeling sa bahay after you've baked. So that's good. That's one egg mixed. And then I'll incorporate the second egg. Egg number two. Well, actually, another tip, no, guys? If you're breaking your eggs, make sure I would encourage to actually break the eggs in a separate bowl. Because sometimes the egg is not good anymore, and once you put the, once you crack it directly over your batter, at hindi siya magandang egg or the egg is actually not good. Mahirap na no, so I highly recommend when you crack your eggs, please crack your egg in a separate bowl before adding it onto your mixture. So that's looking good. So your batter is creamier already. So let's stop that. So we'll add your vanilla. I need. Two teaspoons of vanilla extract. I'm spilling. One, two, two teaspoons of vanilla. So let's mix this. I'll just use my spatula to mix the si gemma. Do mating si gemma dun sa gilid. Do tumitingin na si gemma. Tingitin na niya ko. Masarap ba ni luluto ko? So I'm mixing the vanilla onto the batter by its spatula. And then after that one, we'll incorporate the dry ingredient. So we'll add one teaspoon of baking soda. So that's one. Two teaspoons of hot water. So one, two. Let's mix this a bit. This is add like a hot mixture. And then after that, we'll add one half teaspoon of salt. Salt is actually there to be able to, because this is sweet, so a little bit of salt will actually balance the sweetness with a little bit saltiness in terms of the flavor. And then three cups of all-purpose flour. So that's one. For me, I prefer mixing my dry ingredients slowly onto my mixture so that it incorporates slowly 
onto the batter. Let's mix it a bit. So that's one. Next cup, two. And then we'll mix. Let's get this side. So three cups of all-purpose flour. I'm gonna mix kana dito sa batter natin. So let's mix it. One final mix. Let's make sure na na mix siya sa batter at hindi siya lumalabas sa bowl. Okay. Now after that we'll add the semi-sweet or chocolate chips. According to this, it two cups. So I think this is almost the size of this whole bag. So two cups of semi-sweet chocolate chips or chocolate chips that you want to put. I put dark because I'm a dark chocolate lover. It's one, 340 grams of chocolate chip. So let's mix that with the spatula. Mmm, it's So there, we have the dough finished. Okay, so the cookie dough is done. Let's clean up a bit first and then we'll prepare the tray para mabake na to mga cookies na ito. I'll be right back. Ayan, so now, natapos na tayo sa ating cookie dough. We will now put it on the cookie or cooking tray, no baking tray. I have the baking tray here and then I've lined it up with parchment paper para tis hindi siya dumidikit. So I have a ice cream scoop kasi ahatiin kasi natin kasi denture siya so you can imagine if that's the cookie, we will have to cut it in the middle para at least magmukhang yung dentures natin, no? So we are going to use an ice cream scoop para tis pare-pareho ang laki niya. Okay, so that's one. Let's see how many cookies this uh, will make. Two. Ang cute niya. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. So, we'll put nine muna kasi baka lumaki siya at hindi siya magkasya sa cookie tray. Let's move this a bit. So, I preheated my oven kanina to 350. So, we will be cooking this in around 12 min um, 8 to 10 minutes. So, let's put this on the oven. Kasi Kat, uh, yung sister ko pa hawakin ko. Kati, follow me. Okay guys, so ngayon, I'm so excited kasi we will actually do designing of the cookies for it to be able to become the fangs of Dracula, no? So, dun sa kanina, a while ago, I actually baked yung cookies natin kanina and it actually turned out like this. Kina siya. So, it's almost as, almost as big as my palm, no? So, there. I made two para ati sa sample natin. So, I'll do one first. I have my camera here. Hi. First is cut the cookies in half. Yeah. Okay. And then once you have done that, you design the cookies at the back side. So for the designing, what we have is we have here the red icing. If you can't buy red icing sa supermarket niyo or sa grocery store niyo, you can actually mix the white frosting with a bit of few drops. I think um, five drops of red food coloring in it. So ito yung uh, mangyayari niyang gums for the tea. So I'll show you. So first, you use the red icing and then you cover the back part. Hindi naman kailangan ng very precise, no? But as much as possible, go to the edge of it as much as you can para at least magmumukha talaga siyang gums, no? So after you've done that, so as you can see, that's how it is right now, you will actually cover this. And then I have some white mini marshmallow that would serve as Dracula's teeth. Um, if you can see how big these marshmallows are, it's actually very small. And I suggest if you, you can use chopsticks, please use chopsticks for this part. So what you do is you get one of these marshmallow. You actually put it, itatayo mo siya on that side. Okay, so let's build this one by one. This is actually good for time lapse halfway through. I'll just let you uh, show you. Parang ganyan sa kanya, no? It's actually turning out like the gums and the teeth. 
let's continue but actually after you do this one you have to first put it on the refrigerator inside the refrigerator for a couple of hours i suggest maybe around three hours so that the icing could harden and then the marshmallow could also harden but at least once you put it outside with your guests hindi siya kagad agad nasisira or it won't break easily so that's the finished product of one of those gums as you can see let's cover my face there so once this is actually done, what you do is, I have some slivered or half almond here, slivered almonds. So what you do is you, so you dip it on the icing, para tis maglusha, and then you stick it on your cookie. Let me do one more, para tis makita nyo. As much as possible, do the pointy, na yung pointy end, no? That one is actually the one on top there. As you can see, Parang ganyan ang mangyayari, no? Okay, so let's put this one aside and let's make one more for you guys. So I have two already. There. So, let's put this on the plate itself so that you can put it on the refrigerator for it to harden. So let's bring this. Let's put this here first. Para at least my luggage is a ref. Oops! So okay, bye-bye! The magic of cooking show. I actually have prepared some cookies already. So this is actually how it looks like when it's hardened. There. So actually the icing is a bit hard. Okay. So let's assemble this so that I can show you guys how it actually looks like. So here's the finished product. And now it's almost the same as what a while ago. And then since the icing is already hard, you can actually present it as that. <laughs> cool, right? So there, turned out really, 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 really well. So thank you so much, guys, for watching. I hope you enjoyed this simple cooking video for you guys. If you like me to make more of these types of videos, please let me know in the comments down below. For those people who haven't subscribed yet, please consider subscribing to my channel by clicking the subscribe button down below and clicking the bell icon beside it and click all so that you are always informed when I post new videos. We just reached our 100 subscriber mark, so thank you so much for my to my current subscribers. I really appreciate it. So much love. And for those who haven't subscribed yet, please consider subscribing. And I like to end my videos by saying, always take care and stay safe. And I will see you next time on our next video. Take care and bye!